If you're here, you probably most likely have broken a bone, very similar to what I have done. I have broken a bone. My uh, fifth metacarpal bone here, I think even the fourth, if this is the fifth, this has got to be the fourth metacarpal. Anyways, I'll throw some x-rays up for you to see. I'll uh, throw some footage of the bicycle accident that I had as well. So you can get an idea of what happened. And uh, I rode an electric bicycle, the Rad Rover, made by Rad Power Bikes. And I was riding along and I drifted a little bit far to the right as I was passing an overpass with rails on both sides. One more of a fence rail, the other one of a, I don't know, a part of the road rail. Um, and I basically jackknife over the bicycle. Uh, the handlebar hit the rail, forcing me to turn my handlebar to the right. And uh, the tire, of course, turned 90 degrees perpendicular to the bike, which forced me to, oh, it also it pushed up against the guardrail, uh, forcing the bike to jackknife. And I went over the handlebars for the most part. But what broke my hand, uh, this hand right here, so what broke the hand was probably the handlebar as it hit the one of the rail posts, uh, iron metal rail post. Um, because uh, my fingers are not broken and probably the impact uh, broke my, I think, the fourth and fifth metacarpal. Uh, it's also known as a boxer's fracture. So anyways, um, I want to share with you some of the things about my experience and some of the things I'm trying to do to heal and recover from my uh, broken bone here, my fracture. And so uh, let's just talk first about the healing process. So uh, the first part of the healing process is, is called, uh, or the first phase, there's about five phases. I guess the first would be hematoma. And uh, as soon as the bone breaks, you're going to get some blood clot and some general swelling uh, in the area. And uh, that's the hematoma part. It's just going to start forming a blood clot and... Um, just try to seal up uh, the bone there as much as it can. And then soon after that is basically a week of inflammation. So um, let me see. It's been five days. Yeah, it's, it's been five days since I uh, fractured my, my bone here. And basically um, it started, it started sl slowly swelling. And I think on the third or fourth day, it, it started to swell so bad. I might even have a picture of it. It, it swelled so bad, the uh, half, um, the, uh, the splint, the, the half splint that the doctor, the urgent care provided for me, it was starting to get uncomfortable because it was from, from my hand. Somewhere around my wrist, it started swelling and I could feel it because the pressure I was putting on the half splint, I can feel that. And I could feel my uh, hand, and um, especially when the ibuprofen wore off, they gave me uh, 600 milligrams of ibuprofen. And it lasts about four, well, it lasts eight hours, but towards the seventh and eighth hour, I could start feeling more pain. And definitely it felt warmer. I could feel the heat of the inflammation. And so uh, I'm currently taking 600 milligrams of ibuprofen. It was prescribed to me. That's just one big pill. Of course, you can just go ahead and take three of the 200 milligrams over-the-counter ibuprofen, and that would work. But it cost me 75 cents to uh, to get the prescription of 600 milligrams of ibuprofen. And it also is uh, supposed to reduce the inflammation, or it's a non-steroid anti-inflammatory medication as well so so it, it has gone down and so I'm on the sixth day um, or I'm on the fifth day probably on the sixth day and the seventh day uh, the swelling should probably greatly subside from from this and uh, 
So that's where I am at. So after um, the week of inflammatory phase, I'm going to be going into, and I already, I already some in some sense, I already feel the uh, the uh, third phase, which is soft callus. That's when the bones uh, are starting to form a soft callus to join them together to heal the process. And um, when I first broke my hand, I couldn't wiggle my fingers. Uh, I, I kind of feel a little bit, but I couldn't wiggle my fingers without feeling a great discomfort where the fracture was. Um, I could wiggle, I could barely wiggle my fingers, and I could st still feel the bone slightly move, but it, it's not discomforting. It's not I, the reduction in how I how I feel the bone moving in my hand is greatly reduced. So I, I already feel like something's settling and something's starting to take place. And so I think the soft callus is starting to, you know, take hold. And then, of course, the, uh, the fourth phase would be the uh, hard callus when it starts hardening up. And then that's That'll be towards, I think, the third and fourth week, maybe even the fourth and fifth week. And by the time you get to the sixth week, uh, you get to the final phase, which is remodeling, which basically you'll start, the bone will harden up larger than the bone, and then the remodeling will be the shaving away of the bone and, and calcifying or hardening even further uh, of the bone to make it strong. And that will go on for several years. Uh, you'll probably have, I'm most likely going to have this big old bump in my hand. I'm going to freak out. But uh, that's probably very normal. I've broken my collarbone, and that's basically what's happened. So those are the phases that I'm going to be going through. So I'm in the inflammatory phase. But during that time, I'm going to show you some of the things that I've been doing to make sure I recover as quick as possible and make the recovery as comfortable as possible. So one of the things that I'm doing is I'm definitely drinking. Um, well, I've been I've been taking creatine. Um, I've been doing that ever since I started riding the bike, uh, and in general exercising. I find that it does build muscle mass in general if you just take it and just do uh, normal exercise activity. Uh, it has increased it does help increase my strength it actually does it it's basically helps the cells of your body uh, produce more energy allowing you to be more energetic if that makes sense so uh, i've been taking this and i will continue to take this i do think it will help with the healing process because it, again it it allows a chemical reaction for the cells in your body your muscle cells or whatever cells uh creatine everywhere in your body, mostly in the muscles. Uh, I do uh, want to uh, prevent any of the muscles in my arms and my hands from uh, decreasing because I'm being immobile for six weeks. So I will continue to take this. Um, so I've been taking this. Uh, the thing about this, you have to have a 30 day period of uh, getting loaded, quote unquote loaded. So I've already been loaded. So I will uh, continue to take this. If you don't take this, it probably won't help you because it takes 30 days. So that's uh, four weeks. So I, uh, by the time you get loaded, where it becomes effective. But if you're already taking creatine, uh, which I am, uh, this is what I will continue to take for a nutritional supplement. Uh, of course, eat regularly, have your regular diet. Uh, the other thing I'm doing is... Um, Let's move this. Sorry, I have to jiggle, move things around here because I only have one good hand. Um, this is just a, a nutritional drink that I just someone recommended to, re recommended to me like years ago. Uh, I'll have some of these links from Amazon, especially for people who can't go out and drive or whatever reason. You you could have these delivered to your door. Um, but uh, I, I get this from Amazon, and my, my, I used to buy it from my local store. They stopped kind of carrying it. I prefer this package because they have a seal on it. So um, I have uh, uh, regular shipments from Am scheduled shipments from Amazon, and uh, they, it has a seal. So I prefer this size or this kind of container. So when I need it, I just pop them in the seal. It's fresh. Uh, but this has a lot of vitamins in it, and I just drink it with water. 
I do add powdered milk to it, which is part of the uh, nutritional supplement. But a lot of, if you can see here, it has a lot of vitamin A, 100% your daily recommended amount of vitamin A, vitamin C, calcium, iron, vitamin D, vitamin E. Uh, those uh, those uh, vitamins and minerals by itself, those first, uh, what is it, one, two, three, four, five, six, those first six vitamins that are listed and vitamins and min minerals that are listed are going to tremendously help you in the first phase and through the second and third and fourth. Well, yeah, there's there's five phases. So um, uh, hematoma, inflammatory, uh, soft callus, hard callus, and remodeling. So those uh, one, two, three, four, five. What is I, what is six six vitamins alone? The first six vitamins alone will help you during all process of the um, the healing process. So this is why I take this, and it gives me like a hundred percent of my daily amount. If I add one cup of skim milk, which I do, I do add one cup of skim milk. Uh, this is from my local store. Uh, I'll put a link for Amazon if anybody can't get to the store. I'm I have a wife and a few kids. Uh, one one of my my oldest daughter just got her license, so she can be my gopher. Uh, but this will contain. And I and you can put this in anything. I put it in bread. I put it in soup. Um, I make hot chocolate with it. Hot chocolate's really, it tastes pretty decent. In hot chocolate. Um, hot chocolate would be like uh, cocoa powder, uh, water, um, quarter cup of this, and um, put a little bit of sugar if you want. But I put uh, vanilla extract and uh, whipped cream. And that's another way I drink it. You can put it in your soup, mashed potato, different ways. Uh, bread, you can put it in your bread. But it, it's fortified, has some calcium. It doesn't have the fat. And uh, it does have potassium, which you need, and more vitamin A and other vitamins that you need. So this is other supplement that I use. And so with these three things here, which covers a lot, plus your diet, you should have a very healthy recovery for your Oh my God, is my hand turning different color? Gosh, it, it looks like it's turning blue. It must be because of the blood clot and the swelling. Look at this, it is a different color. Anyways, so uh, between these nutritional supplements plus your regular diet, you should be able to recover very quickly. I'm already feeling, um, like I said, uh, it's only the fifth day, and I'm able to wiggle my fingers a little bit without feeling too much discomfort from the two fractures. I believe there's two fractures, um, but we'll see. I have a doctor's appointment uh, on Thursday, which is on the sixth day from my fracture. So I'll, I'll give a report back then. I'll give you an update. Uh, another thing that you that I want to talk about is like, all right, if you have a broken hand, broken arm, you can't really use this because it, it just, it's not feasible. When I first started, I could barely, like, the only thing I could do is, like, pinch and hold up, like, maybe a towel, a small hand towel um, at the very beginning. Now I can actually pick up and hold my phone in my hand and do other things. Um, but either way, you, you only have your left hand. So have a, uh, this is a Harbor Freight freebie. It is a micro fiber towel, hand towel. And what I do is I use this to simply wash my face in the morning. So you're not going to be able to take a shower every day, especially if you have a cast on or even this. I wouldn't take it off because you, you want to stay immobile. So um, I use a hand towel, a microfiber hand towel. So that would help greatly because you're going to rub this against your eye. You're going to rub this like against your right eye and your left eye. Um, and you know, because you're using your left hand, your left eye is not a problem, right? You could just wipe your left eye, but your right eye is kind of weird because if you use your left hand and to rub your right eye, it, it doesn't really reach in there, especially if you use your hand, like you're digging, you know, you're doing this thing with your left, left eye. So having a, a towel, make sure it's wet. It really helps. It gets rid of the eye burgers and uh, you're able to get into places because if you use your knuckle, your finger on your on your right eye, you can't get to all the places. You can't just get into those little crevices. But if you have a towel 
uh, microfiber, really soft, so you don't scratch yourself. If you get another, you know, some other towels, they might be a little too harsh. So uh, get it wet, and then it soaks up a lot of water, so you're able to wipe away all the, uh, you know, uh, eye booger. I don't know what to call it. I call them eye boogers. Um, and you're able to do that. Another thing you're able to do with this is sometimes when you cup your hand with one hand, like you're brushing your teeth and you're trying to, you know, wash out your mouth. Well, doing this is way less than if you had two hands, you know, to, to do this. And you can't use your right hand because you might have a cast or whatever. And so you don't get a lot. If you do that with this and you and you put the water in here, the water soaks up inside and you're able to suck you're able to suck a lot of the water out of the towel and you're able to get a good amount of water in your mouth to rinse. So a towel is helpful. And then some of the other things I like to talk about real quick is since you're going to be using your left hand a lot um, while you're, I don't know, sitting around, laying around, uh, work out your left hand, build some dexterity. Um, these are stuff that my wife got for free. Um, they're like promotional items from the in industry she works in. I'm in H Houston, so there's a lot of oil conventions. They, you know, whatever this company, I don't know what this company does, but they're oil service companies and they give out freebies during these conventions. So I, I take these and I, and I, you know, I just grab them and I, and I try to strengthen my left hand, build dexterity, you know, do, do this kind of stuff. Um, you know, I, I'm just doing things what I have. You know, I don't want to buy something. But if, if you can find something, maybe even a tennis ball or anything, just, just, just you know, practice. Practice on having little weird objects like this and move it around your hand or something. Just build dexterity because you're going to do a lot of things with your left hand. Okay. You're going to become a lefty and, uh, you know, you should get used to it. Anyways, I'm going to conclude this episode here. Uh, hopefully you found this helpful. Um, I'm learning a lot about bone healing as I'm going through the process of bo bone healing myself. So if you like this type of uh, video or if you appreciate the information, please like, share, subscribe. Uh, check out the links below. Until next time, everyone. Bye-bye.